From time to time, I like to buy as many Funko Pops as I possibly can to try to get out chase variations. So I have here is three boxes from Hot Topic. All three of these contain five Funko Pops. Recently, they had the Hot Cash promo with Hot Topic. So if you have a Hot Cash uh, promo, you spend 30, you get 15 off. You spend 60, you get 30 off. So all these were half off. The base price on these, I think were like 12 bucks a piece and, or like 12.50 a piece. So I ended up getting them for pretty much 50% off all three boxes. You had a max of five per order. So if you wanted more than one order, you had to do separate orders for each one. So all three of these boxes have 15 of the same Funko Pop. And I'm gonna try to get out as many chases as I possibly can. So last time I played this, as I call it the chase game, I bought a whole bunch of the Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn from Major League chases, or the Pops. I bought 15, I got seven chases. That was the craziest luck I've ever had with the chase game. And I had the Chubs, I got no chases. So this one, it is Kid Flash. The first time I've ordered any of these, and this is actually was a Hot Topic exclusive, and as far as I know, this is sold out at this time. Hot Topic, though, has a tendency. Their exclusives get restocked several times as time goes on. So if you're looking to purchase this pop still and try for a chase, just stay patient. Hot Topic website usually almost always restocks eventually. <laughs> so, and then of course it hurts the value of the common and the chase. So with chase variations, if you already know, because some people aren't used to Funko Pops, a chase variation, there's a common one, just the common figure. Then there's a chase variation where it's a one in six. So one out of every six will become a chase. And that could be a different colored hair. It could be a totally different mold. The item could be holding something different in its hand. There's something different about the chase than the common version that makes any sense. So Hot Topic, I really enjoy how they ship all their Funko Pops and the original sorters from Funko. So you really shouldn't get any damaged Pops from Hot Topic. If any Pops do come damaged, um, they got damaged by Funko during production. But Hot Topic sometimes though, they do ship their Funko Pops in bags. So luckily these all came in box. So here is the first five from the first box. We're gonna show you the camera first and let's see how many chases I get with the newest chase game. First one out of 15. And we have, okay, so this is just the common version. So this is Kid Flash, DC Superheroes. I honestly don't remember what the very, or the chase is. It's probably glow in the dark or something, I bet, more than likely. So first one, just the common Hot Topic exclusive. Number two, we have, once again, it is just the common and the first two, I'm just gonna check condition, not on every single one, but the first two condition wise, it looks like mint condition. These sorters really do help protect the pop during storage and shipping. Number three in the first box. Oh, there's the first chase. Oh yeah, so the chase is a glow in the dark. So you see right here, you got the chase sticker. So this parts of this figure will glow in the dark and the normal one will not. It looks like all the yellow parts glow in the dark. So we have the first chase from the boxes. So here we go. There's one, one. One out of the first three, that's actually pretty good. Next box, just the common. Got one more in the first kind of like Hot Topic case that I ordered. Number five. Oh, nice, Chase. So the first box I ordered five and hit with two Chase variations. So right now I am two for five on Chases. The odds of getting a Chase is actually one in every six, so I'm already killing the odds right now. I'm gonna look up to see what the actual value of the Chase is for the Kid Flash. 
Okay, so the Kid Flash Chase on the Funko or on poppraska.com today, the Chase is 50 bucks. So that's fantastic. The common one is $21, but yeah. Anyway, so these two right here are $50. And I got I got all three of these for like what? Like 30 bucks. So that was fantastic, right? So yeah, awesome. First box, two chases. So let's see how many chases I get in total out of all three boxes that I purchased. So here we go with box number two. Anyway, just right, I mean, since I bought 15 of them in total, one of every six, I should get, you know, two pretty much if you if you play the odds, okay? I should get two and maybe as high as three, but sometimes though, you buy a whole bunch of them and you end up getting a whole bunch of chases. It happens. The last time I, I did this game, I got a whole bunch of chase. And there's been other times that I've bought a whole bunch and got no chases. Actually, earlier or earlier, later in 2019, I played this chase game and I got like 10, 15 of one of them and I got no chases. I got none. So it happens. Sometimes you hit big, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just kind of like get the odds. There you go. First one, box number two. Common. Okay. Number two in box number two. Common. So first or second box, two commons. Here's number three. Oh, nice. Chase. So right now we are one out of three for chases in box number three. So right now, total of three chases so far. So that's freaking awesome. Box number four. It's the common. Last one, box number five. Box number two. And we have, oh, almost fell out. Oh, nice, another chase. Awesome. So box number one and box number two, I hit two chases in each box. Each box, I went two for five on chases. So just right here is like 200 bucks in just chases that I got for a total of 60 bucks for all those pops. So right now, I am freaking killing it. And the six common pops, I could easily sell those for 10 bucks a piece. So right now I'm at about 200, say 250 bucks. I'm almost about $200 right now in pure profit. Crazy, right? So, so far four chases. That's awesome. Let's keep going. We have one case left. Let's see if the luck will keep going. Actually, as of right now with those four chases, the odds get out four. I should have to buy 24 pops, get out four chases. I got four chases out of the first 10. The first 10 boxes, I got 40% ended up being chases. So I destroyed the odds in the first two boxes. Here we go with box number three. Hopefully the luck keeps going. Box number three. Here we go. First one, two, three, four, and five. Here we go. Last box, the last five pops. First box. Come on. I would love to get like one more chase. Get five chases out of 15 boxes. That'd be fantastic. Here we go. Oh. First box. And we have common. First one of the common. Here we go. Box number two. What we have? Common. Okay. Got three boxes left still. I'll be happy. Just hit one more chase. One more. Come on. One more chase. Common. <laughs> we got two left. Two left. Come on. Two boxes. Come on. One more chase. One more chase. We have... Nice. Chase number five. So there we go right now. With, I'm going to stack these a little bit bigger now. With the pyramid, I got a lot of chases. Five chases so far. Five chases. 
we have one box left. Will this box end up being two chases again? Here we go, last box. Will it be a chase? Common, okay, so you know what? I still, I freaking crush those odds. I bought a total of 15 boxes. I got out, out of 15 boxes, <laughs> I got out five chase out of 15 boxes. So that's incredible. So I, my ratio was one in every three I got them out. So once again, the chase game from Hot Topic, I crushed it. The last time I played this, actually half was from Hot Topic, half was from Barnes and Nobles, and I crushed it that time. So the luck with the chase game keeps going on a little bit longer. So just right here in these five, five pops here, it's like 250 bucks in just these five pops. I bought all 15 of these, all 15 of these for what, $90, $90. And I have 10 common version pops down there. I should be able to sell about 10 bucks a piece at least. So just those 10 or 100 bucks. And then all these right here, all this is pure profit. All of these chases are profit. So I made $250 on this chase game. So there's ways that you can get lucky and actually make some pretty good money doing games like this. So I'll see you next time. Next time it might be 40 of the same Funko Pop. Stay tuned for that video. It might be epic. Who knows how many chases will be out of the 40. See you next time. I'm out.